This is, this is the spot where Emily Stone is going to be. So the stone is going to be laid there, and beneath this solitary sycamore is the natural home for Emily Stone. And when can people come and enjoy the stones? Well, all the stones should be in place for the summer, uh, for the launch at the festival on the 7th of July. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to leave you and disappear into this wild, desolate landscape to be inspired like Emily. You go for it. <laughs> See you later. Nice to meet you. Thank you too, Michael. This landscape has affected many writers, not just the Brontes. To Ted Hughes, the moors were a stage for the performance of heaven. To Simon Armitage, an anti-garden of gritstone and peat. And writers still come here seeking inspiration and immersing themselves in this rich landscape. And some writers immerse themselves way more than others.